Hello guys at Cals and welcome to another episode of Skills and Abilities. Today we're going to be looking at one of the last Barbarian skills. Uh, I think I only got like two more left after this one, Stun and Concentrate. Uh, we're going to be looking at Frenzy today. Uh, Frenzy is a very powerful ability that has mm, some interesting uses. In fact, there are some monsters in the game that are very formidable and very scary because of Frenzy. If you guys are unaware, the Death Lords and Blood Lords and Moon Lords, the big giant minotaurs with the double axes, they, they use Frenzy. Um, and the reason why you can tell that they use Frenzy is because as you use Frenzy, you obtain a special little wispy doodad that goes around your body. It goes, and, you know, it's like, it looks like little little wind blades or whatever you want to call it. And these little wind blades, they, they gather. And the more, and the, you know, the, the more stacks you have, the more little wind blades you have around your character. And eventually it gets to the point where you have a full stack and you have multiple little wind blades constantly moving around your character, which are increasing your attack speed, your run speed, your attack rating, and all sorts of things. Um, and, and, and they're absolutely kind of cool. But you can see these on the monsters as well. So when the monsters are utilizing Frenzy, you know they're utilizing Frenzy because they have the same wispy little wind blades going around their character. Now, Frenzy has a lot of synergies, um, and this is a kind of th thing that we need to talk about. So we have a double swing synergy, which is 8% per level. Um, that is right here. We have a taunt ability, which is 8% per level. Now, taunt is probably not one that you want to build. Um, it does have some interesting uses, and I did make a video on it earlier if you want to check it out. But um, it's definitely a little bit less useful than some of the other synergies that are in this list. Uh, we also have increased stamina now, which was a recent addition in uh, one of the 2.4.3 or 2.5 patches. I can't remember which one. But uh, what it does is it adds duration per level. So by default, Frenzy is 6 seconds. And with at least one point in st increased stamina, which most people have because they like to get the increased speed, um, you should be sitting at 6.4 seconds. Now if you cap out increased stamina at 0.4 seconds per level, um, you can increase the duration of Frenzy to a total of 14 seconds now, which does make the stacks last for quite a bit longer. Now, it is very interesting to note that because Frenzy takes a little while to get moving, you know, like like a heavy train, you know, and eventually it gets up to speed. Once it's at speed, it stays there for a little while, and then it takes a little while to slow down. Well, Frenzy takes a little while to, to speed up. You've got to you got to hit some targets, you've got to get your stacks running, and then once you've got your stacks at their highest, they're going to last for 14 seconds. Now, the way that Frenzy works is that if you hit a monster one time at any point during the duration, you will refresh the duration for another 14 seconds. It's essentially like resetting the countdown. So when you are a Frenzy Barbarian, if you're running a Frenzy Barbarian, all you have to do is make sure that you tap a monster some point before the end of that duration. You can count it out in your head. You can, I don't know, like maybe use your toes if you've got to, or just like pretend that you understand exactly how long it's been. But you'll get a feel for it eventually, and you'll be able to keep your Frenzy stacks running no matter what. You don't actually have to kill anything. You just run up, tap them once, refresh the, the Frenzy. And as you can see, the Wispies are still going over my character as long as I'm tapping monsters. Now, if I stop tapping monsters for 14 seconds, they will disappear. Now, if they disappear, you have to rebuild from zero. And this is important. Because if you take a look at the Frenzy ability, you'll see that it gives me an attack speed of 7 to 31%. So the first stack is only 7% increased attack speed. The first stack is only 47% increased run walk. And that means that I've got to build my stacks back up to their maximum to get the full effect of the ability again. Um, which is why it's advantageous to have, number one, a longer duration on your Frenzy, which means you won't have to worry about it running out. And number two, making sure that you're tapping those targets to keep your stacks at their maximum so that you don't have to worry about, you know, rebuilding from zero. Um, in fact, developers, if you're listening, I think it would be really cool 
if there was a little buff down here that showed the number of stacks that you have or the number of seconds you had left on your stacks or maybe both you can have a little box that pops up and has like the number of stacks and then up to the maximum number of stacks and then has a countdown which shows how long you have until the stacks you know deplete that way it would be easier to micromanage you know the the frenzy stacks themselves now speaking of the frenzy stacks some of the effects of frenzy will apply to other abilities and some of them won't okay so um, as you can see here we have an attack rating bonus of 149 percent this does not transfer to the other abilities so anything that has to do with attack rating on this will not transfer to something else the damage bonus does not transfer so the 133 percent damage bonus does not transfer to any other ability however the attack speed and the run walk speed do transfer to other abilities so for instance if i were to go and build some frenzy stacks um, and then utilize an ability like whirlwind just as a, uh, a silly example here. So I could put Whirlwind on my other hand. I could make sure I've got my Frenzy stacks to maximum. And then when I'm Whirlwinding, I would have the run walk speed bonus and the increased attack speed bonus while I'm Whirlwinding. Um, and this is kind of nice because if you have that additional increased attack speed when you're using other abilities, you can much easier, much more easily hit the higher breakpoints. And all you have to do every now and then is just stop, tap a target to continue. Now, when it comes to Frenzy, you can level it up pretty far. Um, in fact, the increased attack speed and the run walk speed go up as you level the ability. And uh, you'll notice that right now I'm at 7% bottom, 33% top for attack speed, and then 47% run walk, 138% run walk for its top. And then as I level it up, you'll notice that the bottom doesn't really increase, but the top, the maximum goes up. So as I'm increasing it, as I hit level 20 here, I have now 45% to my increased attack speed and 182% to my run walk. Um, and as you add in other skills, like for instance, if you've got a torch, if you've got yourself an Annie and whatnot, and I'm going to put in my hack Danny real quick. Oh, no, there's my plus one. Um, you notice now we're at 46% increased attack speed, 185% run walk, and then I have a cheated plus seven Annie in here, which I could show off if I want to go even higher. Oh, where's my cheated Annie? Come on. I probably threw it away. <laughs> I probably threw my cheated Annie away. Uh, but this will give you a fairly nice percentage of increased attack speed and run walk. So if you were using Frenzy specifically for the purpose of getting the increased attack speed and the run walk, you don't have to build any of the other synergies because the double swing synergy doesn't affect the Frenzy buff. The taunt doesn't affect the Frenzy buff. The increased stamina does. That increases the duration. And the berserk damage doesn't increase the Frenzy buff. So the only thing that really helps you if you're just trying to get the Frenzy buff for another ability is the increased stamina, which is going to give you extra duration so you don't have to stop to attack and refresh it as often. The difference between 6 seconds and 14 seconds is pretty massive when it comes to you know, have, forcing you to stop all the time and refresh your stacks. And the less that you have to refresh your stacks, the better. Now, it's also kind of important to note that Frenzy isn't really like its own special ability. It's actually just double swing. A lot of people don't know this, but Frenzy is actually just a crappier version of double swing. Um, not only is it a crappier version of Double Swing, it also is lacking some of the most amazing things that Double Swing has. Um, so for instance, one of the problems with Double Swing is that every single time you swing, it applies its mana cost on each swing of the attack, which means that it actually takes two times the amount of mana to use the ability that it actually states. However, Double Swing, when it hits level 8, no longer costs mana. So that bug, or whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. However, Frenzy doesn't have the same cool thing. So Frenzy costs 3 mana per attack, no matter what level. And it also applies that mana on each swing, which means it costs 6 mana for each attack sequence of the ability. Um... And uh, it's also, like I said, a lot slower than Double Swing for some reason, and I think that's just simply because it has all the IAS, 
And once you get the IAS running, once you build up the Steam with Frenzy, it definitely is a lot faster than it seems. Um, we also have all the synergies. So building all these synergies is a lot of points. Um, you got 20 points in the Frenzy, right? That's already 20. You got 20 points in a Double Swing, that's 40. 20 points in a Taunt, that's 60. 20 points into Berserk, if you want to build that, which is <laughs> 80. And then if you really want to go even further and max out the increased stamina, that is 100 points to max out Frenzy, which is absolutely insane, and is going to cost you the majority of the points that you have as a character. You barely you have very few points left at that point. Um, now, you will have a maxed out double swing with, without the synergies, which you can utilize with Frenzy if you want to. Um, or you could go with something like Whirlwind or any of the other interesting things. Um, it's also important to note that the Berserk synergy doesn't work the way that's stated. So when you level up Berserk as a synergy for Frenzy, it says that it adds 20% magic damage. And it states it in a way that makes you think that it is a bonus damage on top of what you have. So, for instance, if I were to go to, like, my regular attack here, my regular attack says I do about 2,204. So you would assume that it's 2,204 plus 20%, which would give me 2,644. So an additional... 440 magic damage, right? But that's not actually how it works. It actually works really stupidly. What it does is, is it takes your 2,204 and it subtracts 20%, which is the physical damage, 440.8, which leaves you with 1,763 physical damage, and then it adds 440.8, magical damage, which brings you right back to 2,204. You have gained no damage, and you have lost no damage, but it has converted 20% of your physical damage into magical damage, which does increase your damage output slightly, because magic damage is, of course, more effective than physical damage normally, unless you have a monster that's under the effect of amplified damage, and they're at negative 100%, in which case you've lost damage, because... In that situation, you're actually doing less. But in most situations, the magic damage will actually do, be doing more than the physical damage that it replaced. Um, this is some sort of bug in the way that it works and also in the way that it's stated. And it would be nice if they uh, fixed the tooltip to say something more along the lines of converts 20% physical damage to magic damage. Um, I think that would be much more clear than how it's currently stated. Um, is there anything else? Um, shared synergies. This is one that I think is important for this. So Frenzy has a synergy with Double Swing. Double Swing is a very good synergy for this particular ability. And if you're going to build Frenzy, you're probably going to build Double Swing. Double Swing is also the synergy for Double Throw. So as a, uh, a Throw Barbarian, who is going to build Double Swing anyway, a very good thing to do is also get Frenzy and build that as well. And what you can do as a Double Throw Barbarian is you can utilize the Frenzy increased attack speed and increased run walk speed while you are double throwing, which is also very, very nice. In the same way that we utilized it with Whirlwind, you also then are utilizing this increased attack speed and the run walk to make your time throwing your weapons easier as well. And, uh, and as I said before, you just need to make sure that you tap them every once in a while to refresh the stacks. And, uh, and you don't really have to build the synergies for Frenzy. Again, like I said in this situation, you're pretty much just building the skill itself for the bonuses, the, the frenzy bonuses, which is the attack speed and the run walk, and you're ignoring pretty much the rest. Um, the run walk speed bonus on frenzy. 
Um, I feel like we need to talk about this as well. So Frenzy's run walk speed bonus seems to be separate from the run walk speed bonus that is what we would consider normal. So I've explored this in exhausting measure um, with a character named Sanic the Hooge Hag. He has a couple videos. Sanic the Hooge Hag has a, a legitimate video, and then he also has a cheated video um, in which I explored how fast a character could possibly run. And uh, Frenzy was definitely a component of this. And what I encountered was is that run walk from things like boots or charms or you know like uh like swords uh whatever it may be run walk in the normal form is one form of run walk this form of run walk is kind of like off to the side and by itself um vigor which is an aura um is also off to the side by itself um, it affects run walk separately than the way that your generic run walk does um, burst of speed is also off by itself in its own category and doesn't function the same way that run walk does on your boots. Um, and then on top of that, frenzy is also on its own in its own little category. And for some reason, it seems like they split up run walk into four separate places. Your run walk on your items is category number one. Vigor, which is an aura, is category number two. Burst of speed is category number three. And Frenzy is category number four. And, uh, and then finally, Charge is category number five. All of which seem to be in their own little worlds, and they modify Run Walk in their own specific ways. And when combined, all together can make the character run insanely fast, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, for instance, let me um, pull off my Vigor Aura real quick. And uh, I'm going to show you what it's like. This is a character with just faster run walk. So capped out faster run walk as high as it can possibly get. Now let's apply burst of speed. And you notice I'm going a lot faster. Even though burst of speed only increases my run walk by 70%, I've now increased tremendously over what I was before. Now let's apply our vigor aura. Now we're going even faster than we were before because the vigor aura and the burst of speed are modifying my faster run walk differently than the faster run walk on my character and i have a lot of faster run walk on my character let me tell you my character is currently at even without the burst of speed and the vigor i'm currently at 3892 percent faster run walk which is just absolutely mind-bogglingly insane and then you can add in Frenzy into the mix. And this is where things get really crazy because Frenzy increases your faster run walk again even further by another 174% uh, when you have all of the stacks. And with all of the stacks, you end up with ridiculous, oh my god, speed that doesn't make any sense. Um, I've never really kind of figured out exactly what the hell's going on behind the scenes and why these calculations work the way they do, but it's important to note with Frenzy that Frenzy's run walk speed modifier is not the same as what's on your boots. It is a different run walk speed modifier in entirely, and the way that the game treats the run walk that is given to you by Frenzy is weird. Um, and all of the items, all of the abilities that do things that increase run walk seem to be in their own little worlds. Um, Blaze, which is a new one that was added in by the developers in patch 2.4, I think, um, adds run walk now. Blaze also increases your faster run walk in a way that it probably shouldn't. Um, if I take off my helmet here and... Um, let me uh, save and exit and rejoin real quick. Um, and you notice, I'm pretty fast right now with my ridiculous 3,785%. Uh, but if I let myself get hit by a monster... Look at how much faster I am with Blaze. Just Blaze. Nothing else. No Vigor Aura, no Burst of Speed, no Frenzy. Just Blaze, and I'm already ridiculously fast. 
Um, and Blaze doesn't even really add that much faster run walk. Um, so always think about these faster run walk abilities like Blaze, Vigor, Burst of Speed, and Frenzy as different than regular faster run walk. And, and I hope I made that evidently clear by <laughs> showing you ridiculous examples like this Sanic the Hooge Hag character. Um, Sanic the Hooge Hag is not done, by the way. I've got a couple more ideas on how I could potentially make him even faster. Just you wait. Um, I think that's pretty much it for Frenzy, though. And, um, as always, thanks for watching, and, uh, keep watching.